Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So guys, from today we are diving into new crash course Python. Python is the most popular language in the world. So if you want to set up Python in your Visual Studio code, so I have already uploaded video. So go and watch that video and set up your Visual Studio code. So in today's video, we are going to dive into the basics of using variable in Python. Variable are fundamental in programming and are used to store data that can be used and manipulated throughout your code so let's get started first let's understand what is variable in Python a variable is essentially a container that hold data values think of it like a labeled box where you can store things like numbers text or other data types so creating a variable in Python is a straightforward you simply choose a name for your variable and use the assignment operator is equal to sign a value to it so now let's see how you can create different type of variable so first I will create integer variable so here I will create Python file so the file name will be variable dot py py is the extension of python hit enter so the python file is created now here i will create a variable so i will create for edge so edge is equal to 25 now i will print this so for print we use print hit enter brackets and in brackets we will write this variable name so edge now i will run this on terminal so right click run python run python file in terminal so you can see the value is printed 25 now we will create a float variable a float variable stores numbers that include decimal so here i will create for height after this variable name height is equal to 5.9 I will print this so print brackets and uh, height variable name I will run this so you can see the value is printed 25 and 5.9 after this I will create a string variable a string variable store text enclosed in either a single or double quotation so, so string variable value we can create in double or single quotation so here i will create string variable so the variable name will be name equal to double quotation and the name will be mudasser i will print this so print name i will run this so you can see the mudasir is printed now we will create boolean variable a boolean variable stores true or false value so here i will create student variable name and is equal to true hit enter i will print this student Hit enter control s now i will run this so you can see the true is print so once we have created variables you can use them in your code you can print them perform operations on them or use them in expression so when we creating a variable there are some rules you need to follow it so the first rule is variable names must start with a letter or an underscore the second rule is the rest of the name can include letter number or underscore the fourth rule is variable names are case sensitive age and age small a and capital a is different variable avoid using python result world like if else while etc as a variable name so here i will create some valid and invalid example so first i will create valid so i will give name valid so first variable name is my underscore variable second valid variable is comma edge one i will again create edge one so edge these are the different variable edge one and edge one because python variables names are case sensitive now after this i will create one more variable underscore height so these are the valid variables now i will create invalid variable so invalid so the first invalid variable is one 
add we can't create number as a starting in variable number two invalid my hyphen variable we can't create my hyphen variable number three is class we can't create class because class is a reserved word so these are the valid and invalid variables and that's it we have learned the basic of using variable in python variables are powerful tools that you will use frequently in your coding journey they help you store and manipulate data making your program more dynamic and flexible if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more programming tutorial thank you for watching and see you in the next time